Let's take a walk around this 1974 Cessna 182P or Skylane model. The 182 is the second most popular Cessna model after the 172. You want to know why? Well, there's many things that are designed well in this plane. The comfort of it, the cabin space, its range, its service ceiling, reliability, all put it up on the level of being better than the 172 and in the same price range. So this is a fixed gear, a little bit slower, but overall it's actually got less maintenance cost and lower insurance costs as well, so the balance is good there. It does have 80 gallon extended range tanks, which will give you 1100 mile range while you're flying. Um, they are fuel bladder tanks in there. You can see overall it's got clean control surfaces. We're going to take a walk around the other side here. You can see there's a nice rich look with those gold and red and blue striping on there, the nice gold numbering. Shiny, clean paint. Well, that's a ten dollars to $18,000 job if you wanted to repaint it, and this paint is in really nice shape. You can also see here that the wheel pants are in good condition as well. Not any cracks or um, damages, chunks out of the fiberglass there. And then one of the last things I want to show you on here is the wing tips. These actually are an upgraded version of this wing tip on here, and they do make a nice look to the plane. This 182P comes with a Continental 0470, 230 horsepower, six cylinder, high compression motor. Overall, the motor is in nice and clean condition. One of the benefits of having a balanced six cylinder such as this will make the flight more enjoyable as there's less vibration which reduces your fatigue in flight, especially for your long trips. A smoother engine makes for a smoother flight. If you did something with balanced injectors, such as GAMI injectors and an engine monitor, you can run lean of peak, which will save you a few gallons per hour, which is quite a bit of fuel savings over the long run. And it has the Macaulay two blade prop on it as well. So if we go ahead and take a look inside this 1974 182P, as you can see, it's got a nice clean panel layout. You can see that the glasses on the gauges are in good condition. Your standard six pack up front here, an easy to see spot for the pilot. You've got all your fusible links here underneath the controls. You've got two digital comms on the left and up top here as well as a Garmin 500, which is the same features as a 530, just doesn't have the comm feature, but you've got two digital comms for that. Your carb and prop and mixture and throttle are all right there and easy to access. You can see here we've got our rudder and elevator trims, nice and easy to reach from the pilot seat. Our fuel selector down here has a left, a right, a both, and an off setting. Your cowl flaps. You've got your flap settings right here, which are easy to select and use. You've got your manifold pressure, RPM gauge, EGTs, oil and temps, everything there. And then over here in the corner, there's a glove box cubby in the corner there. So this is a comfortable four seat plane, easily fits for adults and it is a four-place intercom system as well. Back here in the baggage compartment, there is quite a bit of space. So for the startup procedure here, we're going to go ahead and get mixture to full rich. Make sure the prop is at the high RPM. We're going to get the throttle about half inch out. We're going to go ahead and pump the primer three times.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start the run up. We were lead for taxi, so we're gonna go ahead and get the mixture pushed in. Um, here we're gonna double check that the oil pressure and oil temp is in the warm position, so we can do the run up. We want to go ahead and get the RPM. We get them up to 1700 here. Then we're gonna do the mag check. We're checking for a drop of about 150 or less, with less than 50 be drop between the two. I'm gonna go ahead and cycle the prop. We're watching for the RPM change, as well as the oil pressure. I'm gonna check the carb heat for the change in RPM on that as well. See the vacuum gauge over there is in the green. All right, we're gonna get ready for takeoff here. So we've got the fuel selector to set to both. We've got the elevator and rudder trims set to the neutral takeoff position. Your cowl flaps are open. We've got 10 degrees of flaps right there. Mixture and proper full in. Get it set for a cruise climb. You can see there about 23-23. We're doing about a 500 foot per minute climb. And between 90 and 95 miles per hour over there. One of the things to watch on these high compression continental engines is that you manage your cowl flaps and your um, cylinder head temperatures as well as your EGTs to make sure that you don't either shock or cool it or overheat it as you're doing your climbs and your descents. Okay, the maximum performance climb here you can see we're hovering just below a thousand foot per minute and right at about 90 miles per hour. Roz visors are basically a lifesaver at this point because they completely block out the sun and they go almost all the way down to the edge of the dash here which is extremely helpful when you're flying directly into the sun later in the evening or very early in the morning. All right, now that we've leveled off, we're going to go ahead and take a steep turn. See the gauges there and also the view outside. This is about a 45 degree bank angle. You can see the Garmin GPS here makes it easy to track. Both your direction, you can see you've got 139 knots ground speed. And if we go to the iPad here, see that's 138 knots as well. Kind of hard to see there, but that's about 140 miles per hour. Okay, since we're set up for a cruise here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to lean it out. So we've got the lean in mixture there. And watch the EGT. And you want to do this pretty slow. Keep an eye on the gauge and just feel for when the engine starts to get just a little bit rough. Yellow needle adjusted there and then you want to be 100 degrees or four notches rich of that. That's a nice setting to be at there. Okay, so once we get the rudder and the elevator trims trimmed out down here, you can see basically hands-free flying. Okay, we're gonna get set up for landing. So we've got the mixture at full rich, the prop at high RPM. Right now we're at 20 degrees of flaps. Fuel selector is at both. The cowl flaps are closed. Got the carb heat pulled on there. 